My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb, joined by Big Dumb. I love when Big Dumb joins us. BD on the WD with Big Zach. We're a party of three. We're coming live from YouTube TV. Kind of, I don't know. Party of five, good show. You like that? No, and you don't like it either. So, how was your weekend? I was a big party of five fan. Watched it every Thursday. Nope. Came on before Dawson's Creek. I liked it more than Dawson's Creek, no. to be honest. No. My weekend was uh, lonely. <laughs> well, I had a good time with you yesterday on Sunday. <laughs> oh! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Lonely with me. Because your family left you. Family left me. Everything goes gray. <laughs> Tell me about the sports. James. Big one in the sports world. I'm going to walk everyone through this step by step. Day by day. Better show than Party of Five. Oh, absolutely better show than Party of Five. Okay, so all that Party of Five stuff we're talking about. Um, step by step was like, what if the Brady Bunch were cool? Jim, I see a post from our ho- our own John Boy Media, and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Ichiro girl, she's thrown out the first pitch, and they've got like a mini documentary going. I'm like, okay, I'm a baseball fan. Ichiro girl, Ichiro girl. She's talking. She's nice. Iris. Roll the tape, Zach. That's great. She's the girl that Ichiro touched back in 2010. My grandpappy built this place back in 1902, and she went crazy. She got so excited, and then they brought her back 22 minus 10 years later to meet Ichiro. She got just as excited. I don't know if the math's right on that because you used the year as the subtraction point, but... It was 12 years later, right? Yeah, you said 10 years. I said 22 minus 10. You said it happened in 2010. It did. It's 22. Yeah. Everything I said was factual. Yeah. It happened in 2010. 22 minus 10 years later. So 12 years later. We'll check the tape. 12 years later. It's a math pod. It's Um, flawless math by me. At first, I was like, why are we just identifying this girl as Ichiro? But it's really cool, man. Really good job by the Mariners. Maybe she forced her way there. You think she forced her? Maybe her dad wrote a letter every day. How could you have Ichiro celebration without my daughter? On Ichiro. We've been calling her Ichiro girl for 12 years. Hey, I'm going to be there. And Ichiro going full uniform. Audible laugh as soon as I saw him. I've seen a lot of players get celebrated and come back for celebrations recently. The Yankees just did it for Paul O'Neill. Imagine if O'Neill's in full uniform. We would be a jar. We would be mind blown. What is, why are, it's Derek Jeter's getting a number retired. Why is he in full uniform? Ichiro comes out in full uniform and you're like, yeah, that's what he does. James, this almost a breakdown. This is a good one. I like this almost a breakdown. It was mom's day at this Washington high school football camp and they bring all the moms out. They teach them about the helmets and the pads and the safety and the tackling maneuvers they they teach them because, you know, moms get scared. Our moms didn't want us playing football. Your mom didn't want you playing football. And then at the end, they let the moms tackle the kids if they want. And some of these moms speared the kids. This reminded me of being in high school. Me and my friends would just spear each other, like just run and tackle each other all the time. And it's like, you grow up and you're like, oh my God, I can't do that ever again. I actually did it to Jake when we were filming Grown Losers. Roll that clip. I got you pretty good. Mid. Um, yeah, man. You know, it's, it's crazy. Hey, it's a different time in your life. We used to play like King of the Castle on the bed where we just throw our buddies off the bed. This is beautiful. You're going to be playing football. All right. Mom gets to pop you. You compared this to the father daughter dance. I love that comparison. Yeah. You want to talk about locker room bonding afterwards. All the guy being like, you know, I was actually hoping your mom was going to hit me. Your mom's tackle. Little, little handsy on the tackle. Yeah. I got my Roman swipes out. After I saw your mom tackle you. Yeah, had to. What? You're I was sick. about to ejaculate. Yeah, and I wanted it to last longer, so I got my Roman swipes When out. I was with your mom. Rolling around with your mom. Let's go back to the sports. Yes, Jim. And speaking of, in a weekend where Little League World Series and the kids, and it's so jovial and it's beautiful, we had that same jovial ability. Woo! Mets had their first old-timers day, and man, they brought out some of the studs. They end up retiring Willie Mays' number. But Old Timers Day is one of the best things you could do as a sports team. We're spoiled as Yankee fans. We just say, oh, they do this every year. Every team should do this. They don't because of money. But every team should do it. Connects generations. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. The Mets killed it, Jim. And they actually played, which the Mets are actually playing Old Timers Day. And the Yankees, for the first time, didn't actually play. And I'm mad at the Yankees about that. Because look how fun this is. You had Bartolo Colon, who wants to come back and be a Met, pitching. Floyd got a hit off him. You had 79-year-old Steve Dillon on the mound, throwing heat, getting rocked to left field over, what was left fielder's name? Benny Agbayani. Tracking it down, so mad at his pitcher. Tracking it down, Zalus. He's tracking that down. They cut it before he got to the ball. Following it. They cut 
it yeah. before he got to the yeah. ball. Yeah, no, this was beautiful. Every team needs to do this. Buck Showalter said it best. Like, every team can do this. It costs a little money. They sell tickets. It was These packed. These are the people that help build your team to what it is today, it's and you awesome. connect generations. Oh, dude. Yeah. It's a big this is a not big sports. One for you. I was surprised. I was surprised by some of your reactions to this it. This is a huge story coming out of the Bratwurst Festival theater. Yeah. Abigail Brockwell was the Bratwurst queen. She won it last year. Now, as reigning Bratwurst queen, she gets to wear her sash. She gets to go to other Bratwurst festivals. She gets to represent this Bratwurst festival. She also gets a $1,000 gift card. She gets to take the a, the first bite of the opening Bratwurst for the next year, and she gets to crown the next winner. When she showed up to do that, they said, nah, uh, uh, you've been dethroned. They kicked her off. Want to know why, Jake? Yeah. The board explained to Miss Brockwell that by attending the luncheon, she interrupted the duties of another girl who had been delegated as the Bratwurst Festival representative as directed by the board for that luncheon. She did go to festivals on August 4th and 5th that were not in violation of the suspension right. because she asked beforehand and attended an everyday attire. She has lawyered up. Yeah. Her supporters ha are wearing shirts that say long live the queen, yep. even though she was supposed to lose the title that day anyway. Right. They're spending a lot of money to fight this and it's just such a big deal. I can't believe it. She gets dishonorably discharged. Yeah. I mean, she's got this now black eye on her bratwurst queen career that that's tough to overcome so i don't know how this ends and i don't know how we got here but you get everything solved when you find out this took place in ohio it's the employee of the this week, week. Employee of the Week's a real deal. Sam started framing their picture yeah. and it's on the wall in the office every week people now. are getting aggressive so congratulations to our very own Paxton Elrod. Sideline reporting at the minor league cricket championship match yeah. in North Carolina. Looked a lot of, like a lot of fun. I know Paxton had a blast. You're a big cricket guy. U.S.'s number one cricket influencer. Um, I will say, I thought this was lining up. I thought Joe's McFly was going to sneak in at the end, only because... He went to Bad Bunny with A-Rod right at the buzzer, but good for packs, good for crickets everywhere. Thank you to Big Dumb. Eats a cricket. There goes five hours of Zach's life. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Roman Swipes. are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. No prescription needed. PE treatments are safe, effective, and used by millions of men. Free two-day shipping. Go to GetRoman.com slash dumb today. If approved, you'll get $10 off your first order. That's GetRoman.com slash dumb. Good trash talk, because now you can be like, my mom tackles harder than you during yeah. games. And then they're like, ha ha. We're and, teammates. Stop and trash say, talking me. You say, no, really. Pull out, watch this footage. Pull your phone out of your high school pants and show them that my mom tackles harder right. than you. Right. Can we, can we slow? Don't start the play yet. I'm showing him this video. This is you tackling me right here. And this was my mom tackling me. And my mom hurt me way more than you hurt me. And she gave me a boner. Roman swipes.